Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the newer version of the Predator. This is the 9000 starting, 7250 running. Um, now this one here has the plastic air cleaner. It's their newest addition they make. So if you have the metal air cleaner, this kit will not fit that one. You have to purchase the metal air cleaner one. Uh, this one here that we're going to show you today is set up for the plastic air cleaner. So we'll go ahead and show you the propane steps on that, and then we'll show you the natural gas steps on that. Okay, first thing we're going to go ahead and remove the two hoses off the back of this. Um, go ahead and pull that off. Pull that out of there, set it to the side. This is your vent line for the gas tank. Go ahead and pull that off. Pop your air cleaner cover off. Take your filter out. And then you get a little plastic. Um, it's to keep the air cleaner from sucking in into the intake. So we'll remove that. And then we'll show you the next steps on it. Okay, now on the back of the air cleaner box here, down on the bottom we got a vibration bolt. Um, it's 11 millimeter. We'll go ahead and remove that. Once we get that out, then we'll show you the next steps on the front cover, just removing it from there. All right, that's that step there. We'll show you the next procedure. Okay, now we've got the back bracket off. We'll go ahead and remove the two nuts holding on the cover. And again, these are 11s. And then the, it, the gas line clips on the side over there. Just pop that off, and you can remove the air cleaner now. All right, now we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on installing the uh, kit. All right, now that we've got our air cleaner all removed here, now I have found these studs to be long enough to accept the new adapter and get everything on. Now, if you want to pull these out a little bit, just pull the carburetor back a little bit. Get back in there on the studs on the back side so you don't narrow these up. Get you some vice grips and just pull them out. I mean, I didn't have to do it on this one here. Um, there is enough room for the, bolt, the nuts to go back on. But if you feel uncomfortable, you want them out a little farther, there's a lot of meat back there. So just go ahead and install your original gasket back on. We'll get our gasket or our adapter, slim adapter installed on there. We'll supply you with a gasket. Just make sure your choke opens and clears. We're all good. Go ahead and get your cover back on. We already got that. Get her nuts. See, there's plenty of room there still, but if you wanted, if you wanted to back them out, you could a little bit. That's no problem. All righty. Go ahead and lock them down. And I tell you, these here are 10s, they're not 11s. So go ahead and just get that back in. Get your filter back in. Get your cover back on. Just make sure it clips all the way for you. This one can be a little stubborn. All right, let's see if that'll do it this time. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and we'll show you the next procedure on the back to hook the hoses back up. All right, now we'll go ahead and get our vibration bolt back in there
I apologize if my hands are in the way. It's kind of a tight compartment back there. All we're doing is just putting the bolt back in for the back of the air cleaner. All right, go ahead and bring our hose back down. Everything will hook back up. There's no extensions needed for any of this here. So go ahead and slide that back in there. And it's as simple as that. We'll go ahead and show you the next procedures. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install our regulator assembly. Now I didn't wanna come down here cause you're in the way of all this, your air cleaner, your roll pole, all your panels on the front. You know, you can't get to your spark plug on this side. So I chose to put it up here, okay? And what you're gonna do is just between your two rails up top, just center it, make your marks between the two center to centers here, which is five and three quarters of an inch. Just make you another mark there. And then what I do is I take a little punch. This way your drill bit doesn't wobble on you. And we'll go ahead and drill these out now. This is a hollow tube, so it's real easy to drill through. So let's go ahead and Get this one started. All right, what we're going to do now is go ahead and get our regulator assembly mounted up. We'll supply you all the hardware. This will be all assembled for you. Um, everything will be preset on that. Let's go ahead and get that lined up. That in there. Put your two flat washers on back here. Your two lock washers. And then the two nuts. It's a pretty simple unit. This is a nice unit. I like this one a lot. The uh, the older one, the, the metal air cleaner one, that's a nice one also too. But this one here is a pretty good one. They did a couple little upgrades. Go ahead and take these down. All right, that's that step there. We'll show you the next procedure. All right, now we've got everything installed. We'll go ahead and get our hose off our uh, slim adapter up to our regulator. And we'll go ahead and slide the... Holes over the tube there. Just kind of bring that up. Slide that over. Just kind of turn the hose if you have to to get any kinks out or anything. And then what we'll do is we'll supply you a tie strap up here. Kind of keep that hose out from you a little bit. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten this down. And we'll get this tightened here. And that's pretty much the steps on it. Next step, we'll go ahead and show you how to hook this up and we'll get it running for you. Okay, what we're first going to do is run it on propane. Now, I've got it connected to the bottle here, connected to here. You do not need pipe dope on this particular fitting here because it's a flare fitting and also the same with the uh, POL connection to the tank. Um, go ahead and get your lines connected. Now, I go ahead and loosen up the jam nut here. Um, that way... Um, I can do my adjustment. Now in is lean, out is rich on this. So we'll set this here as close as we can. Every unit's a little bit different depending on the hours or the load that you've used it. Um, but we'll get you in the hunt. You should be able to get it to start pretty quick, um, especially on propane. So let's go ahead and get our fuel turned on. Make sure your gasoline cockpit is shut off. You do not need choke with an alternative fuel. It actually hurts it because this opens with engine vacuum, so this way if the engine ever stalls when you're away from it, the engine vacuum suction here will stop on this regulator allow the fuel to stop. So go ahead and make sure you're off there. Um, turn your choke off. On the back of this unit is a primer button. Hit that button one or two seconds. Shoot some fuel in there. Shut 
that off and we'll do a load test. We'll run it up and down, just make sure everything's good on it. Um, now that's the propane steps. Now, a lot of people are calling us now saying, I want a tri-fuel kit. Well, the tri-fuel kit's almost eliminated now because of the simple fact that natural gas pressure across the United States, we have seen drop to four ounces. It is not six ounces like it used to be. This regulator set up here for the propane because of the regulators that Rego and the other manufacturers out there make for the high pressure regulator, it's six ounces coming out of here to this regulator. So if you wanted to run natural gas and propane to have those options, you would have to purchase the propane kit for this, and then separately on our website, we sell the four ounce regulator that you'd hook to your natural gas. Now your natural gas would go right to the ball valve. Obviously this would be eliminated here. Um, we definitely recommend three quarter inch hose. Um, the hose that we sell is a Parker UL rated for natural gas. The quick connects we sell are open orifice for running a combustible engine. A lot of people will try to buy the hose offline. Um, there's a gray hose and a yellow hose I think that they have out there. Well, them have orifices in them and it restricts the fuel for natural gas. It causes a hard start, causes you to have to hold the primer button down in the back to get it running. Um, again, three quarter inch is what we recommend, right directly from the meter if you possibly can. A lot of people try to tie off their pool heaters, go to half inch hose for natural gas. It doesn't give you the volume. That's one thing about natural gas with a combustible engine, it craves the volume. So that's the steps on this and we'll go ahead and show you the next procedure. Okay, that shows you the steps for the Predator 9000. Again, this is the newer version. Uh, I'm going to say 2020 and up uh, has the plastic air cleaner, not the metal. Make sure you look at that. Um, again, if it is the metal, we still have that also. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could uh, be reached at 734-992-2648. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps you out. You have a wonderful day.